guys, this is Shima Sawyer from Welcome Back to another Showcase video. Today I'm going to be showing you my custom Lego Spider-Man minifigure to celebrate the release of the new movie Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, this figure and this um, review, part one, um, was delayed because, one, the vulture pain in my butt. So many things went wrong when I was making him. So he's going to be delayed until like two weeks from now. I don't know when part two is going to come out, but he is coming, hopefully. By, jeez, by the end of July this month. Um, whatever, something just fell. Um, yeah, and two, um, because I originally planned for them both and to be in the new, um, in one video, but since Vulture is not working out, then they're just not gonna be in the same video. Part one and part two. And that's how it came to be. Um, but yeah, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you check out my Facebook, not Facebook, my Instagram and Twitter. Um, but yeah, without further introduction, let's get into the showcase video. Alright, so Spider-Man. Now, this figure turned out great, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the head was a regular Lego red head. And I just painted on the eyes, and you might be able to see I did little dots on the sides to represent that, like, dots on the side of the eyes that he has um, on his homemade costume. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do the crease or anything because you don't really notice it, so what, what's the point in doing actual work? I was too busy with the vulture anyway. Um, the torso was a regular um, red torso. I sanded off the printing on the front and the back, which I'll get to the hood. Um... But, um, and I painted on all the, um, details you see here, like the pockets, the zipper, the spider, which I'm really proud of, and the, the hood strings. Um, um, yeah. And actually continued the lines all the way to the back, where you see the hood, which I just cut out the shape from a Lego cape. And the line continued on the bottom. And now the reason why I did the hood out of the Lego cape is because I don't have a Lego Wild style hood. And you have no idea how long I've been looking on eBay for one just for this figure. So I thought, whatever, this is the next best option. And it was definitely worth it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and it doesn't take away from the actual torso part, which is what I'm happy about. Um, the arms were... Um, regular Lego blue arms, and I painted on, um, the red and the silver to represent his web shooters, hold on. I'm just gonna do one arm, because I don't feel like doing the other. And I painted, um, that silver continuing on to the flesh hand that I painted on all the silver, which is only one line of silver, I don't know why I said that, and, um, the black and the red. And same thing on the other arm. Okay, now, the legs were just some regular Lego blue legs. Um, I painted on the strings because it's like exercise pants or something. I don't know what the heck they are, but they have strings on them. Um, and then I painted on the red boots. Um, I painted on the black on the bottom of the boots. If you can see... Yeah, and then I painted on the lines to represent the lines on the shoes that he has over his socks, but I did not paint because that'd be too many lines. They'd look weird. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for Spider-Man, the basic one of the two, if the other one ever finishes. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it, and let's conclude this showcase video. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my custom Lego Spider-Man minifigure, um, homemade version. Forgot to say that in the beginning. Um, for the new movie Spider-Man Homecoming. Really proud of how this figure came out, especially the hood. Um, but, yeah. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you check out my Instagram and Twitter. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Part 2 will be out in like a week, half a week, or, I don't know, two weeks, maybe. Just don't get needy, because, man, to Vulture, he's gonna be worth it, though.
Okay. I'm done talking. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.